This is a true example of bureaucracies working together for the good of the people. It was a tip by someone fishing along the Flint River back in June that led to a number of state and local agencies investigating what is now known to be a chemical spill because of the wrongdoing of Lockhart Chemical Company based in Flint. You know, far too often communities of color and underserved communities are are riddled with these type of violators. But at a press conference on Monday, officials announced state action against Lockhart following that chemical spill on June 15th. The order requires Lockhart to immediately stop using specific underground tunnels that Eagle confirmed leaked contaminated wastewater into the soil and then into storm sewers, which then emptied into the Flint River. We have sheriffs, investigators, and patrol cars on site at Eagle, excuse me, at Lockhart as we speak. Officials say Lockhart was provided numerous opportunities to fix problems and failed to do so on its own. This action follows the efforts of Eagle to seek voluntary action from Lockhart to fix the problem, but to no avail. Flint's mayor says the investigation which led to the action against the company is a sign of progress. We all must maintain a level of watchmanship in partnership with one another to make sure that we can eliminate these illegal uh, violators. Officials hope this action will send a strong message to other companies about what they could face. Businesses that neglect their responsibilities put people at risk. We are embedded in making sure this doesn't happen again. And part of that is holding people accountable. Fox 2 reached out to Lockhart for comment, but the wait for a response continues. So I look forward to Lockhart taking prompt action to comply with this order so that Flint can be assured that no additional damage is done to the local environment. In Southfield, Ingrid Kelly, Fox 2 News.